What up, y'all boys? It's Simi. Uh, so I changed my Instagram name. Before we get into the video, it's gonna be a quick little video for me. I know I ain't, I ain't talked to y'all in a while. I just said, you know, I be, I'm gonna I'm be real with y'all. I'm probably gonna take hiatuses, you know what I'm saying? Everybody else, they do videos, drop videos every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. It's good for them, you know what I'm saying? But uh, consistency is key, but I can consistently give y'all a video a week, you feel me? That seems like just the way it's gonna go. But, um, you know what I'm saying? Out here enjoying nature, enjoying what God created, you know what I'm saying? Bathing in the sun, cause I'm sun kissed, I'm, I'm melanated, I'm a young king, you feel me? My skin was born for this. Anyways, so um, yeah, a lot to change, you know what I'm saying? My beard's starting to grow out a little bit more, I cut my hair off, got, you know, got the waves, it, it is what it is. I'm tripping. <clears throat> but I, I've been doing a lot of searching and I wouldn't say soul searching, but it's been a lot of um, just, you know, getting to know me a little bit more, getting to know what I like, what I prefer, um, getting more definite in the things that I want out of life, you know? Like I said, our purpose on this world is not for us, it's for other people. Our gifts are not for us, it's for other people, but some things are for you, you know? I'm not saying be selfish and I'm not saying be the most selfless because if you're never selfish, you there's a balance of everything. You know, there's good and bad and there's a balance of everything. So you just gotta find that balance. And that's what I've been doing a uh, couple of weeks, these last couple of weeks. But no, um, so today I have the answer and I know the right, and, I, and I'm gonna address, I'm gonna address this statement first, okay? What I'm about to tell y'all, this is why every man, every man that's ever been depressed, this is the reason why, okay? And I know this from first-hand experience, and we'll get into that. Look at them jogging. I wonder what is his mile time. See, this is the thing, you know what I'm saying? I see these random people, and I look at these random things, and I'm like, what's his mile time? He's buff. He's definitely not running the 730. He's probably running, I, I don't even know, past that. Every man has ever been depressed, this is the reason why. Why? Because, you know, he's missing something in his identity. Either he isn't in his purpose or he feels inefficient. Think about it. Every time, and, I, and I, the reason why I say men specifically is because my channel is geared towards men is geared toward young men and is and I can speak firsthand because I've been through it myself as a young man. When a father isn't being a good enough father, he feels saddened. Or when a man isn't able to provide enough money, he feels sad for his family, right? He's like, I I just feel like I'm a sorry excuse for a man because I can't provide for my family. I'm not financially, you know, adequate. Well, if we take finances out of it, he feels as if he's not being a good enough father. Somebody who's in their job and they put, or you know, once you train, so say we had a fighter and he trained for this fight. You know what I'm saying? He trained for this fight for about 10, 12 weeks, three, four, five, six months out. He been training, but he does all that just to lose. He feels sorry for himself. He's like, bro, I did all this just to lose. Now, of course, you should have a good mindset about the situation. I lost. I'm going to bounce back. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to get better, better, better. But for that meantime, for for that right now when he lost, he feels sad, bro. And, and I'm not saying you shouldn't. That's just part of life. You're going to feel sad. But as a man, you should get back up again and keep going on. But past that, that's the reason why people get depressed or why men get depressed. It's because either they're not in their purpose or they're inefficient. Um, I'm going to be honest, uh, I used to contemplate suicide and my mental health was just not where it needed to be. And my relationship with God was down the drain, in my opinion. But, you know what I'm saying? God saw me through. And, I, and, and the thing is, a lot of churches and a lot of people want to be like, oh, God got you. God got you. Yeah, God got me, but I need you to provide actual answers. I need you to provide actual statements, facts, something to let me know. Because you saying, I'm gonna let you know. 
because you saying God got me, but you're not providing no insight on what he got me about. You know what I'm saying? What's the point? What's the purpose? Uh, going past that, though, God got me. But the thing was, he had to. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to just be transparent. I was feeling like, you know, my my relationship with my mom wasn't the best. And, you know, I would I would get beat. And when I got beat, you know, I didn't have a father in my life. I didn't have anybody to, to reassure me. My mom tried to try to play both sides, which is be the father and the mother. And what she thought father should have been was not the adequate uh, or, or not the correct way a father should be a father. How would she? But even though in her foolishness, how can you truly blame her? I didn't have a father in my life. That's but that's neither here or there. That's really a, a story time or not even a story time, but another story in itself. So she tried to play both sides and, you know, she was just failing horribly at both sides. She was over, you know, physical with me because, I mean, that's what she thought dudes did. Can't blame her. That's just what her mindset was. And um, when I got disciplined, she would always be like, like you point in my head, you're selfish, da, 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 da. And just to do another point, like I'm driving so many jams in this video, just to do another point. Single moms, you cannot raise your boy to be a man. It's impossible. That's like me telling a cow how to be a duck or a duck how to be a wolf. It doesn't make sense. That's why God put man and woman here on this earth. That's why there's different genders and that's why there's different nationality. And you can take this even with a, um, a nationality or ethnicity. I'm not saying you can't raise them, to, you know, I think it's more severe, though, when it comes to a gender. That's why we have, I'm going to keep it a buck. That's why we have all these um, misgenders, bi bisexuals, transgenders, and all these people that are confused. And, be, and they've been accustomed to an identity that they created or that the world has given them for so long that they just keep going, going ahead. That's why we have communities like LGBTQ. But anyway, moving on forward, the reason why people, why men fail or, or or get depressed or get into that slope is because they feel inefficient or they feel as if they're not in their purpose at all how many men do you know that are homeless are depressed majority of them i know and, and here's an um an example and it's crazy because the man was homeless he had nothing but he was he wasn't depressed he was happy he had a saxophone his name was saxophone joe and he would play his saxophone, even though he was homeless, he would get pennies to the dollar every day. And he was homeless. But every day I see him, he had a smile on his face. And I finally went up to him, I asked him, why do you have a smile? Why are you happy? You know what I'm saying? You're homeless. You're down bad. You ain't got nothing. You, all you, I, you know, I wasn't that blunt, but, you know, I was, I don't sugarcoat nothing. I'm like, bro, you don't have anything. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be in a better position so we can find out something. But for right now, why are you happy? He was like, dude, I love playing the saxophone. My name's Saxophone Joe. Every day I get out here to do something I love, playing the saxophone. Every time little kids pass by, they have a nickel or quarter, they give it to me. But I'm playing the saxophone, they love the music and they smile. That puts a, a smile on my face. And he was like, dude, even though I'm homeless, I'm, I'm enjoying my life. And I was like, it's crazy. It's millionaires out here and it's, and it's men that have everything in the world, but yet they're still killing themselves. Why? Cause they're not in their purpose or they feel inefficient in their purpose so basically today's message is i'm just saying dude i don't care what things look like get up I mean, keep going and if you feel as if you're not in your purpose get into it you know what i'm saying like i said a lot of churches and a lot of people they just say god got you but they'll never provide the answer well in my next video i'm going to provide the answer you feel me all right, subscribe, like, comment, blah, blah, blah. And I changed my Instagram name, so I'm uh, I'm going to put it up in a video sometime around now. But if I don't, it should be in the link in the description below. Anyways, appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching the video. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. And you already know what it is. It's boy.